This is another of the problem from the book of Andy Bhatt. The problem number in the old book it is 20.38 and in the new book which has come in color the problem name is number is 247. You can see all the dimensions and this is the asymmetric view which we have to convert into front view, top view and the side views. This is the 3D model. Now let us just have a look at how the object appears from different angles. Slight rotation will do this. So you can see the faces which are appearing in clean, they will appear in top view. Yellow faces appear in the front view. The red faces are danger faces which will appear in two of the views and the blue face here that's going to appear in the side views. Okay, so let us take back our asymmetric view and start making one by one the different views. First going for the front view this is how the front view is going to appear. So just let us have at the line diagram of this. So here in shading whatever is appearing, this is the smooth face, the red face that we have over there. So this object is over somewhat like this. A slight rotation when given is going to make clear to us how the different faces are getting hidden. So this is the green face which is getting hidden, becoming in a straight line. A red face here is also becoming in a straight line. This slant face is appearing here and this red face which is smooth that's also appearing in the front view over like this. So let us get the line diagram of this. The front view when we project it it will appear like this. So we have the front view. Again taking back our isometric view Okay, now we are going to project it in the top view. So when we make top view of the same object, the object is going to appear somewhat like this. So this is the top view. Let us have a look at the line diagram of this. This is the line diagram. You can see in the shaded whatever is appearing, it is the red face. The face which is smooth. A little rotation when given is going to make clear to us how the different faces are getting hidden. So you can see this face here is coming in a straight line. This round face is appearing like a rectangle. This is the slant face appearing in red again. This green faces are the horizontal faces over there. So the top view and completed is going to be like this. Let's project the top view. Look at the top view. Coming back to the isometric. This is the top view what we get. This is the front view. And finally going for the last of the views which is the side view over here. So this is how our side view is going to appear. Just have a look at the line diagram. There is no problem with the line diagram as there are no hidden edges. But we have to be careful as there are some faces, some inclined faces that are appearing over here. So little rotation when given is going to make it clear. So this was the red inclined face over here. These two are the inclined, inclined faces. The yellow faces are all getting hidden as they are becoming perpendicular and they are appearing as a straight line itself in the side view. So again, when we see the side view, this is the final side view. Let us get the projections of the side view. Come back to the isometric. So we have seen that all the three views here, the front view, top view and side view, have been made. You can't just draw this 3D diagram on the paper. So we have to convert it in some way or the other into a two-dimensional diagram which can be drawn on the paper. So that's why we have to rotate this view like this and also we have to rotate this view to make it in line the front view. Now what we have is the correct diagram that can be drawn on the paper. This is how your final diagram has to appear when you draw it on the sheet. All these lines have to match the side view and these lines from front view must be used in, in order to make the side view.